You guys, the fans, have been wondering when we're gonna bring you the Nintendo NX, and luckily, we've been listening. So finally, revealing to you guys the Nintendo NX. And we're not stopping there. Not only is it super compact, but we're going back to cartridges, and we're gonna add the cartridge, and believe it or not, we'll have 4K streaming, you'll have 4K gameplay. You'll be able to have particles out the wazoo, and we're only running on 12 AA batteries. Get ready for the next generation. Hey guys, and welcome to another week of the fish tank. Now this week, we had some pretty big news finally drop. Nintendo has finally come out and let us know what they plan on doing for E3. So. To break it down for you guys, I just thought I'd go through it one by one, let you know what's going on, let you know what I think about it. So starting off, let's start with the big hitter, is that Nintendo NX is finally coming, and we finally have a release window of March 2017. So not this year. And that's okay. I mean, I know that largely Nintendo releases things in November around that time because they want to take advantage of the holiday sales and get that huge boost in their numbers so that they can just continue to sell all these consoles. March is usually not a great month for that, but I'd rather have them wait. I mean, you're looking at the Wii U where when it came out, it was kind of rough, and then the next few months they kept adding all these things and changing all these things, trying to iron out those kinks, when they should have just kept it baking in the oven a little bit longer, and it would have been great. Uh, well, not great, but it would have been a lot better. So, the fact that they're taking that time to get those extra months, let it bake to perfection. So, we'll just have to wait. So for the Nintendo NX coming in 2017, I give that three stars, or buying a pie at the market and then not having any time to eat it because you're too busy. Next up, let's talk about Zelda Wii U. Well, maybe not so much. Uh, Zelda Wii U is now been pushed back yet again into 2017. So they announced it, oh, it's gonna be a 2015 game, no. Oh, it's gonna be a 2016 game, no. Oh, it's gonna be a 2017 game, Maybe? Well, we find out the reasoning for why, or part of the reason for why they're doing this. It's going to come out simultaneously for both Wii U and the Nintendo NX. And I have mixed feelings about that. I mean, one, if it wasn't going to take a whole lot of advantage of the gamepad and everything, then sure, put it on the more powerful console from what we can gather. Uh, put on the more powerful console give it the power it needs so that it can be this premier game. Don't force it to be on lesser hardware. But at the same time, all this year, there's been tons of people that have been buying Wii or There's been some people <laughs> that have been buying Wii U in hopes to play Zelda Wii U. And now their purchase is kind of unnecessary. And that really sucks. So for Zelda Wii U coming out 2017 and on the NX, I'm giving that one two and a half stars, or working on a group project and one of your partners saying, don't worry, I'm working on it. Now the last controversial bit of news is that the Nintendo NX will not be coming to E3 in any form, which is surprising. Uh, usually consoles have one or two years at E3 right before they're launched to garner up all that hype to answer these questions that we have, and Nintendo has just been like, look, we're just gonna stick with what we've been doing, releasing news when we want to, so it's not ready to show, we're not gonna show it. And that takes some balls. Now, the other interesting note is that n not only is NX not gonna be there, but there aren't gonna be any playable games on the show floor except for the new Zelda. Now, <laughs> That's interesting because Nintendo has a huge area to preview and play their games. And if that's all going to be Zelda, then that it can actually be great because they must be confident in that game 
to such a high regard that they want to make sure everyone plays it and to elevate the hype for this game to such a degree that that's really all they need. So, for Nintendo being ballsy and changing the way E3 works for them, four stars. Or going to Disney World with someone who knows how to really scam that fast pass. So with that, that's it for this week. What did you think of the NX? What do you think of Nintendo at E3 in general? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this, or even if you hate it, I don't care, please hit that subscribe button. It helps us a tremendous amount. Also, if you're curious, you can find us on Facebook via the description below, and you can also find us on Twitter at NerdMuchCom. I'd like to thank you for joining us this week. I'll see you next time. Now, there was one other real good tidbit this week in that Nintendo announced what their two new mobile games are going to be. We've got Fire Emblem, we've got Animal Crossing, and those are great ideas. I mean, because Animal Crossing already works perfectly as a mobile game. To make it even more mobile than a little mobile console, yeah, just hand it to the masses. People love that. It's like giving them Sims 5. People are gonna eat that up. And then Fire Emblem, I don't know, I think that works pretty well. I mean, you, you for a turn-based RPG, that could be a really cool thing to have a high-quality mobile RPG.